the Olympus OM-1, designed by a team led by the legendary Yoshihisa Maitani, originally named the Olympus OM-1, Maitani-1. Uh, it was designated the OM-1 later on due to complications. There's a lot more about the history on YouTube. Go Google other things. For me, this camera is a link to the past. My grandfather, who died before I was born, used these model cameras. So me choosing to use this camera is like a metaphorical fist bump across time to my grandfather. So the OM-1 is fully manual and small for an SLR from this time period. The camera looks and feels lovely in the hands. There is a battery powered light meter, but this camera will work if the battery dies. Hello Sony 16 rule. The Zuiko lenses are fantastic as you may see from all my different videos and things. I'm very into the Zuiko lenses. So what separates this SLR from other brands and other models from this time period? So the shutter speed section is on the front of the lens and the smaller overall size of the body. So there are a large selection of Zuiko OM lenses for this system. The camera tends to come with a 50mm f1.8, which is a very decent kit lens. So this camera currently has the 40mm f2 pancake lens, which is wider than the 50 and is more compact. I also feel that it outperforms the 50 millimeters as it can go to close range focus and is very sharp, not that the 50s aren't sharp, they are. And it's a, a decent little kit lens to have when you can pull out your back. It can also be used in more situations on the street because of the slightly wider angle. So the standout lenses for this system are the 24 millimeter f2.8, the 28 millimeter f2, the 40mm f2 pancake, the 50mm f1.2 and the 1.4 is very good as well, the 85mm f2 and the 100mm f2. So why have I chosen to use this lens on the street? This overall camera design is very lovely. So you've got the switch for the light meter, you've got the ISO dial, you've got your normal lever and just sounds lovely. There is film in there, there's Tri-X in there. So yes, this camera means quite a lot to me. It is my favorite film camera. And it is my favorite film camera and lens combination. Although it did used to be the 28 mm f2, which in and of itself is a very lovely lens indeed. So I'm going to put pictures at the end of this video of photographs taken with the OM-1 and the different lenses. Please subscribe to slylsr.com, links in the description below. So I would just say that it's a very cool camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, I'm SlyLSR. Have a good one.